I'd like to welcome you to the Colonial Park Gardens. My name is Jeff Van Pelt. I'm the supervisor of horticulture and I'm in charge of all the gardens here at Colonial Park. Well, a visitor coming here for the first time visiting the Rose Garden will probably be overwhelmed by the color, the fragrance and texture of all the different roses. I mean, whatever you can imagine a rose has. If you look in the garden right now, you can just see how beautiful it looks. And that's what we strive for. We also strive to be perfect, as you know, some of the comments that we're getting about how nice we are compared to other places they go visit. We want perfection. Can we ever get it? No, but we strive for that every year. Because everything's dependent on the weather, growing conditions, but we try our best with everything we do here to, to give the best gardens for the public to see. This garden is truly a treasure in the state of New Jersey and it's well worth the visit to come out here. Welcome to Drumthwacket. This is the residence of the governor of the state of New Jersey. I am a master gardener. My name is June Vester, and I am one of the gardeners that volunteer here and take care of these beautiful gardens. The gardens were designed for Mr. Moses Taylor Pine, who was a chancellor of Princeton University, and they're based on the style of Italianate gardens that he saw in Lake Cuomo, Italy, and they are terraced and very symmetrical. If you see it on one side, you'll see it on the other. Very much in the Italian style, and even as the grandee that he was, he would open the property every Sunday to anybody from town who wanted to come and have a picnic, so he was quite a nice guy. The mansion and gardens are open on Wednesdays for the public to come and visit and take a tour of the house with the docents. So please come and join us at Drum Thwacket, and we'd love to greet you and take you around the mansion and the gardens. Welcome to Leeming's Run. I'm Missy April. Along with my husband, Greg, I own and operate the gardens. Well, the gardens were first created by Greg's father, Jack April. Um, he designed the gardens to be in a woodland setting where nature and the gardens would complement each other. Uh, we're not a formal garden, we're more of a romantic um, style garden. He took about five years to actually design and create the gardens and he opened them to the public just about mm, 32 years ago and we've been open every year since. Most of our gardens are themed either by color or by style, some by type of flower. Uh, we do have a few signs that folks find interesting when they first enter the garden. The first sign you will see says you may walk on the grass and folks either are kind of surprised by that or they maybe giggle a little bit, find it humorous. Um, and Jack put that sign there because he wanted folks to feel at home and experience the garden um, in a more uh, organic way. He wanted you to feel free to walk along the grass and get closer to the flowers and really look at things and not feel constrained to stay on a, a path. So most folks when they come to Cape May County are here for the beaches and the summer fun. Uh, but Leeming's Run does offer a nice alternative to the beaches and the boardwalks. Um, it's a wonderful place to come and just relax and enjoy some time with nature and with the people that you love. So I'll be looking for you the next time you come down to Leeming's Run. Thanks.